Okay. That's the answer, of course it is. Well, I, I think we will find little Tom, you know? It shouldn't be too hard to find Tom knowing what he is now. Ah, Inspector! Let's see how you're doing. Oh? Oh, you're joking. He, he's not old enough to fall off, you fool. Just a moment, Inspector. The wind was train very high, and it's unlikely that a train could have made a train unnoticed. You know? Something tells me you've been barking up the wrong tree. Ah, blatant. So funny. So very, very, very funny. What's up, Luke? I think I've got an idea who this someone is. And for those of you who are sort of very observant, you will see in the top of the um, screen somebody who um, might be watching us that might be a spoiler. I didn't think of that one. Oh well. Yes, of course you've all made a faulty assumption. A tiny shoe? A hat somewhere where it is impossible to get to? And a, another and a shoe on the same foot. I think we have already seen Tom. Tom is, in fact, 015, Tom's true identity, the dog! So we've got to do another sliding puzzle just to prove that it's dog. Typical. Layton, you do like to go things the hard way around, don't you? Typical. Well, I screwed that up. Mm. So, let's see. Because what ends up happening is you get dog pictures in across in the middle and the full paw print on the sides, basically. I think it's actually a surprisingly easy slide puzzle. Which is rather amusing, actually. <laughs> you see, Babette is a lying cow. Who doesn't know the meaning of the word dog? Because she set us on a goose chase by calling Tom her little boy. I, I've always disliked that woman. She sucks. There we go. Here goes. Ta-da! Piece of cake! No, you, you should have solved that one pretty early on. Because it's a pretty simple thing to figure out. Yes, I thought that too. So, I believe we're finally going to um, find out who's been stalking us. I mean, of course, I already know, but there we go. Haha. <laughs> 
The clues we've uncovered during our search have led me to believe there's a strong possibility that Tom is actually a dog, not a small child as we originally thought. Come to think of it, I seem to recall a young girl walking about the train with the dog in her arms. I intend to find her and confirm my suspicions. As gentlemen do, we have to confirm our suspicions. Otherwise, we wouldn't know what to do with ourselves. Now let's talk to Chalmy. Inspector, we are mere moments away from discovering Tom's location. Just stay around a little longer, you know? Oh, Chalmy. We are going to bring the boy back. Just don't do anything rash. Ooh! Creepy guy. Grousely. So this is the first puzzle limit guy that we've come across. You've got to solve at least 12 puzzles! To get another puzzle. We've solved double that number. Grousely. Double. Jeez. So... Let's get this puzzle over and done with, eh? Because he's gonna block us, you know? Uh, fine, we'll give you a hand with your puzzle. Oh, uh, sure. Zero, one, two, clouds and sky. Now, this is a surprisingly tough puzzle. Total area 10, you... It's sort of... It's 6 to 4, but you've got to grab this some should do method the trick. of figuring it out, and it's not pleasant. I don't... Oh, I just don't think and it's pleasant. And there we have it! Hmm. Yeah, it's not particularly pleasant. Yeah. On the observation deck. Oh, excellent! Let's go then. Find out who's been stalking us. Cutscene time. Excuse me. Uh. uh, uh, uh. Silly, silly girl. Hi, it's you! Yes, I had the sneaking suspicion that it was you who was tailing us. Flora! What are you doing here? Hello, Doc. I'm sorry. It's just... Well, you see, I just didn't want to be all alone again. Oh, Flora. <sighs> Professor? <sighs> what lies ahead could be dangerous. Huh? That's why you'll have to be extra careful. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so you see, it was Flora who was stalking us. It was Flora who kidnapped Tom. Flora, you shouldn't be kidnapping dogs. Peter might get involved. Yes, grab the dog, grab the dog. <sighs> Let's get him back to the bet. Of course not. Come along now, Flora. Just don't tell the bet you stole Tom. Okay? You might get in trouble. We discovered that the young girl carrying little Tom around was none other than Flora. Though I've consented to Flora accompanying Luke and myself on our investigation, I still worry that this may expose her to some unknown danger. But there's no time to dwell on that. Babette needs to know that her boy is alive and well. I think Xiaomi's gonna lose his rag with her, if I'm perfectly honest. Oh, it's a miracle! Tommy Wommy! Oh god, she's a creepy woman. I'm not surprised he ran away. Up with a fancy air cut. <laughs> go tell me. Go tell me. Go, go, go tell me. Wait a minute, where's Bartman from? What? 
Oh, shut up. Jeez. Yeah. Might be a good idea. Eep. <laughs> oh, yeah, you get an award. Oh, a hamster toy. Awesome. Hmm. What a great present. Thanks. Ugh. It turns out that Tom isn't a child as we originally thought, but rather Babette's pet dog. It would seem that Babette's affection for Tom is so deep that she considers him to be much more than just a pet. Silly cow. Jeez. Ah, so let's return back to our quarters. Get on with the game, you know? Get away from the big fat pig lady. Ooh! Oh my gosh, it's right next to ours. Face palm. Oh dear, that's not good. Uh, I'm sure he didn't do anything. Just chill out, Luger. Jeez. Right, so we've got to move a train. Thanks, Sam. Trains are heavy, man. Of course they are. Jeez, Beluga. Don't get personal. Unco. He's e Beluga was Sammy Thunder's uncle? Jeez. Now this is the only time you're going to be out here, so you want to grab all of the hint coins. Really, you want to grab them, because you're never coming back. There's a lot of that going on in this game. Sorry, Mr. Passenger. Uh... Oh, I think we can lend a hand, you know? We're quite good with puzzles, you know? Mahaha. <laughs> <sighs> a short while ago, the train came to a sudden and rather alarming stop to avoid crashing into another train lying abandoned on the tracks. That's quite a long sentence. <laughs> yes, we know, you just said, Steve. Let's get on with this puzzle 026 Train Swap. Well, we've got to swap the trains around. Nice and simple. Put that there. Put that there. Come on, swing two down to where three is. And then it's just a simple case of moving them all in. Oh, almost. This is the little tricky bit. Well, I think you've got to move... Yeah, you've got to move that there, then move all of them out. And we're all done. This should do the trick. A true gentleman Excellent. leaves no puzzle Jeez. unsolved. <laughs> it's behind schedule as it is. How disgusting. We should be able to continue on our journey now. Excellent. I'm saying excellent a lot today. That's no good. That's no good. <sighs> right. So we're going to be arriving in Dropstone soon. Woo! And I believe we are going to be meeting sort of the next important character very shortly. Oh, is that dropstone? Oh, it looks so quaint and pretty. Look, 
it's really quaint and pretty. Oh, the 50th anniversary. That's odd. Most cities are around for much longer than 50 years. The country village of Dropstone. Three hours. Right, yeah, that's enough time to go stumbling around the village for uh, leads, really. That'll be good. Hmm. Our train is currently stopped in a quaint country village named Dropstone. The village is currently celebrating the 50th anniversary of its founding and the whole place is bustling with activity. With a while to go before our departure, I decided to use our free time to search for any leads on the Elysian box. Yay! 